So like you see on all of these, uh, what did that say? It says two for 99 cents. The sales tax is the business owner's responsibility. But a lot of these owners are not in compliance with federal law. And so it is our duty as the new Moorish American to get these business owners that are doing business in our country in control. Hey, pocket watchers. Welcome to Real Accountant Reacts. And today I will be reacting to a video of a Moorish Nationals attempt to not pay sales tax. This is the second time that I've come in here to try to get something. And according to federal law, sales tax is supposed to be the business owner's responsibility. And a lot of us have a lot of us have forgotten what the de jure government has ordained. So like you see on all of these uh what did that say? It says two for 99 cents. The sales tax is the business owner's responsibility. But a lot of these owners are not in compliance with federal law. And so it is our duty as the new Moorish American to get these business owners that are doing business in our country in control. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. I had a dollar for I had a dollar and four cents for a dollar pack of cigars, and this guy doesn't want to get sell them to me. It's not foolishness. This is my country, and actually, you're not supposed to be charging anyone tax. Anyways, 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 anyways. This is my country. You need to respect the laws of the land. You need to respect the laws of the land. You need to respect the laws of the land. You need to respect the laws of the land. That fucking that sales tax is not my responsibility. You need to. I am the motherfucking law on my land. This is my land, bitch. I'm the motherfucking law here. Not the police. Not the police, bro. Not the police, bro. This is my land. Your land. My land. My land. My land, bitch. My land. And guess what? You are gonna be reported to the government. You're gonna be reported. This sales tax is your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Sales tax is your responsibility. Yeah, it's your responsibility. And the government's gonna know about this. I'm headed downtown right now. They're gonna know. Yeah, I don't need to call my uncles. I'm gonna make sure that the law knows that you're out here being petty as fuck on my land when you owe us back sales tax. Sales tax is the responsibility of the business owner. Of the business owner. It won't be no next time. Because I'm definitely about to have your ass sitting in a federal court, you dumbass bitch. You dumbass bitch. You about to get reported, you dumbass bitch. Chevron about to put you out of business. I can't wait to see you standing in the unemployment line, bitch. How about that? Okay, so just about everything this guy said in the video is absolutely wrong. But for the sake of this reaction video, I'm going to try to stay focused on my reaction as an accountant and point out the things that he has wrong concerning the sales tax and how that works. Okay, so point number one, who's responsible to pay sales tax? Well, sales tax is a tax on the end user, the customer, not the business itself. Sales tax is supposed to be paid by the customer. So his very first point is totally backwards. So what ends up happening is the business owner, their responsibility in this situation is to collect the sales tax from the customer and then to remit it to pass it on to the state department of revenue whatever state it is and that brings me to point number two he started talking about how they weren't complying with federal law well the federal law has nothing to do with sales tax because sales tax is a state law thing there are some states that don't have sales tax but apparently the, whatever state he's in does have sales tax and it's the state law that governs sales tax, not the federal law. So he's completely off on that point. Uh, in fact, here in the state of Missouri, sales tax is roughly around 9%, depending on where you are. So basically for every dollar that you pay, you have to add nine cents to about 10 cents 
on it for sales tax. So we're not even talking about a large amount because he was going into the store to buy something that was about a dollar. So at most he's paying, <laughs> he's, he's arguing over less than a quarter in tax. That's what he's arguing about. This whole scene that he's causing is over less than a quarter. So just keep that in mind. Um, lastly, I want to talk about why you may be able to find online some videos where this works. And the question is, well, why does it work sometimes and it doesn't work other times? Well, when it comes to the administration of collecting and remitting sales tax, it comes down to whatever cashier you have in front of you. Because what happens is there is an exemption to sales tax for certain nonprofit organizations. So if you have a nonprofit organization, your 501c3 or you have a nonprofit status based on a religious uh, basis, you can be exempt from sales tax. The mindset is because you're doing charitable work, and the government wants to promote your charitable work, they will make you exempt from sales tax so that your resources, the money that you have from your donations or whatever, you can use them to maximize help. Because the concept is with the government is if you have a nonprofit organization that is supposed to be helping the public good, you want to support it and the way you can support it is by one, make them non-taxable so that they can maximize the help that they're doing because if you have a lot of nonprofit organizations in the community helping and supporting the community, then that's less of a burden on the government to do those services. So that's the compromise. And here is how these scammers can come in and convince a cashier that they don't have to pay. When it comes to the uh, Moorish National Sovereign Citizens, whatever they want to be called, the actual root of the organization dates back to like 1913. And it is a uh, American-styled Islamic community in the African-American space. And they, during their founding, really didn't have any tax protesting Theology. That came much later from splinter groups. But because they live in this quasi space of political and religious, if they can convince the cashier that they are part of the religious fraction of the organization, then the cashier is used to religious organizations not being uh impose to pay sales tax and then they can actually walk away without paying sales tax but it's not that the individual person doesn't have to pay sales tax individuals do but what they can do is convince the cashier that they are representing the nonprofit religious organization in this transaction and then they can avoid paying sales tax. All right, so thank you for watching Real Accountant Reacts. I'm Accountant Jason Thornton. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe button. See you next time.